we are joined by Regine Jean, owner of Love Plus Frosting. She will be teaching us some cake decorating. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Indeed, and plus we're all dressed up for it, so yes. we don't yes. mess up ourselves since we are not we're, professional. Yes, we're aproned yes, out yes. today. Okay, great. What we have in front of you is an offset spatula, so mm -hmm. this is going to be your main tool. Okay. And we have some frosting of all cotton, so if you could just pass it to me, please. Okay. So each person is going to take some frosting, not much, place it on top. So don't plop it on. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> right. All right. There we go. And, and then we're going to take our offset spatula and just gently smooth it on top. Okay. You know, level it, balance it out. You're making this look Like a little easy. circle, spread it. Oh, Lord, I think I put too much on mine. Beauty, me, Lord Jesus. That's fine. We're going to then so I have to balance it out. You can just turn your, your, your turntable. Yes. And if you find you have too much, like I have, you're going to take your cake smoother, then scrape, and you can just gently do that. Mm. Yes, to take off the excess frosting, and then you just continue. Oh, you're multitasking here. Wow, yes. we're fancy. Oh, gosh. Not oh. bad. Oh, my gosh, I think mine's bad. <laughs> I just had to be the one to take the most frosting <laughs> to be in the most trouble. Yes, it now. has on a little, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. It's fine. All right. So then you're going to take the spatula, mm -hmm. place it against the side of the cake. So you have to hold this in your hand while you do that? You can put it down if you want. Mm -hmm. But you know, because I've been practicing for a while, you know. I know. So you can always, you, right. Professional. So you're going to take your offset spatula mm -hmm. and you're just going to smooth the edge. Okay. The top of the cake. Mm -hmm. And again, you're going to take your, your excess frosting and just place it here. Right. Not bad. And then you're going to gently bring in the edges just to get a smooth edge. Again, you can just in. scrape off the extra um, frosting that's on your spatula. How long does something like this take you to do? Well, what we have here is what we call a bento cake. A bento. So these, they just whoop, 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 go through it in no time. So right. maybe like five. If the client wants something extra on top, maybe 10 minutes. But okay. So you're a master of the the icing smoothing. Yes, yes, really like a professional. Yeah, yeah she's actually friend. good. <laughs> my cake so then like... you're gonna take some frosting from the bowl, or you mm -hmm. can take the frosting that's on mm -hmm. your your mm -hmm. cake smoother, and you're just gonna plaster. Boy, I don't think I need to put this anything on because the I cake. had on too much already. So, Regine, what type of fillings do you put in your cake? We have multiple. You can get strawberry. Pineapple, and you know, the pineapple goes well with the coconut rum cake, so you can get like a oh, pina colada cake. Mm. You can get chocolate, lemon, the classic vanilla. Um, you can get like s'mores, you know, where we have the graham crackers yeah. with the right. chocolate and what? marshmallows, and you know, put that upon layers. You can get Baileys. It really is all up to the client. Oh, okay. Right? What they prefer, what they want. Mm. Right. Clients like to keep it simple mm -hmm. and just do the classic frosting. So I'm just and gonna do you take... typically work with um, buttercream or what, what kind of frosting do you typically work with? I work with um, various, there are different types of frosting. You have like all American frosting, mm -hmm. you have Swiss meringue, you have Italian, you even have Russian. Mm. There are a few. But I work with frosting and fondant. Fondant, okay. okay. I don't have a preference, like a favorite. I mean, either one is good. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the design of the cake. Do I need more frosting? Just a little. Okay. What you can do as well, if you think you have one enough, mm -hmm. I'm just going to help you out here and take <laughs> the excess. This is good. So oh, I'm man. Put it up here. And you can take your then scrape and then gently smooth it. Gently go around to get a smooth effect and then you can always fill in the gaps. Okay, right. Okay, let me see if I can... So when you made that turkey cake, was that um, fondant or like a mixture between fondant and regular icing? On the outside it was complete fondant. You know, okay. I mm -hmm. layered the cake, you know, put the frosting in between. But the outside, you cover it in the frosting and then you right. lay it with the fondant. Right, right, so, yes. right, 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 right. The detailing, if you want something really detailed, mm -hmm. you know, I would say go with the fondant. Mm -hmm. Or you can do a mixture of both. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
how much time should a customer anticipate or should they contact you for you to have their cake ready for the time that they desire it? Uh, generally, two to three weeks. It all depends Ooh. on the design of the cake. Okay. Or there may be a client where I may have to specially order um, something for the cake. Okay. Or you may have, you may be able to call me tonight and say, you know, is it possible a cake for tomorrow? Yes, it's possible. The design will be half up to me. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna have to pay a late, pay a late order charge for okay. the rush, the rush order. Okay. So they pay for the rush order. Do they have to pay a deposit too for the cake? Yes. I okay. have to pay a fifty percent deposit. That's to secure your order. Okay. And to get the materials, because from oh. the time you place that deposit, your cake order essentially begins. Right. Okay. Right. Because here I may have to prepare the fondant pieces ahead of time and so forth. So. Right. Mm. Yeah. And in terms of the best way to get in contact with you, do most people get in contact via WhatsApp? Is there a phone number to call? Or typically, do they reach out to you via an Instagram page or uh, another medium? Most clients reach out to me via WhatsApp mm -hmm. at 763-2837. Or I can just go online and send us a message on social media Yes, to get in contact with us. And payment plans, do they pay in person or...? You can pay, pay in person and you can also do mobile banking. Oh, okay. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Can I use this on top? You can. <laughs> you can. Let's see how <laughs> it seems like yeah. I don't think you should, but you can. <laughs> so what's next now? That, well, your cake looks nice. My cake looked like it went to the butcher's market. <laughs> the cake is not smooth. I don't know. Yeah. What you can do is... Keep your bent scraper mm -hmm. in one place and go your hand like this and just gently turn it around. Okay, I like mm. that. Right. I'm going to try that. I'll say. You have to be gentle. Can I you have to be off? gentle if with it. If you ask anyone I'm related to, gentle is not the word they're used what? to. Okay, so that's that. So what is the next trend you hope to, to do in terms of making cakes? Is there something that you're dying to try? Well, I'm not just dying to try. I am in the process of um, preparing to execute budget-friendly packages for clients. Right? Okay, nice. Like this, this, this is this is twenty-five dollars. Okay. So and then you can share. Three of us can eat from this. Yeah. You know, it all depends on your portion well, preference, uh, right? But this is it's budget-friendly. Right. But in addition to that, we are preparing to execute our cake and sip event. Mm. We did it last year, you know, like a paint and sip vibe. We did right. it last year and it was so much fun. You get to see the creative side of persons. You know, some of them wowed themselves. Oh, so you actually bring these these yeah, little creations? They're gonna be bigger though. They have much oh, bigger cakes. Okay. Yeah, much bigger cakes. So yeah, it's a setting just like this. Oh, right. Oh, right. oh, but you just sip while you do it. You sip, you eat, you laugh, you have fun. So yeah, I we should have been it. sipping today, so <laughs> when I can't really come out that I can say, hell, I was sipping, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I was here thinking, this is a fantastic birthday party idea. Yeah. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Just have a bunch of friends together. Indeed. Age, honestly, when it comes to cake, never matters. So, yeah. right. you know, for me, I'm definitely going to keep you in mind. Yeah, that's something that, you know, I'm planning to, but after the cake and sip, because this will be our second one. And then I think about, okay, how can we cater it for private events right. and so forth. So what's next? Because I the cake and sip event? No, I mean for the, for the cake? Yes. Okay, we're going to take our piping bags, our frosting bags. Mm -hmm. Any color? Because I want my cake to be decorated before my time runs out. So we're going to use white because what we have here white. is a tray of um, different sprinkles oh, okay. that you can use to beautify your cake. So now you're going to hold it like this. Be gentle with it. Okay. Find a spot on the cake that you think you want to be your back, you know, you may say, okay. You're gonna start at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Back. And you're just gonna gently squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. And then like this. Oh gosh. Squeeze and release. And you're gonna turn. So. Ooh. Ooh. I know. All right. So I feel professional here. This is actually quite therapeutic. So you gently turn your cake table. We got yes. new jobs, y'all. There we go. We got new jobs. Ooh. If you need apprentices, you know who to find. <laughs> exactly. If you want a cake, call me, but I can't make it. <laughs> so when you're finished with the bottom, mm -hmm. you go right on the top, the edge, okay. and you create your pattern. 
So you're doing like um, star drops. You both, you're in contents, you're doing like star mm-hmm. drops. I'm creating like a shell, a shell effect. Mm. Oh, I'm liking that. Yo, Cortense is professional here, man. Here we go. Here. Ew. Look at me. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. See, she's using Cortense, the same. Yeah, yours looks so good. Right, she's using the same tip, but she did two different designs. Oh, man. Oh, same here. Yeah. Good. We fancy, look mm-hmm. at us. So you have sprinkles here mm-hmm. of your choice. And we also have some color frosting. Mm-hmm. You can create a flower oh, drop. Just like a little squeeze and release. Mm-hmm. You drop it, squeeze, and that's it. Nothing too much. Ooh. Yeah, see, we're getting it now, we're getting it. Be gentle and then you rise. Right. Yeah, see, see? She, as she goes along, she's right. being right. Ooh, I remember doing this one time already, but I think I'm better now. <laughs> right. Should I give my cake character? Nick Life? Ooh. Are you going to put sprinkles on yours? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, you can just oh, no. um, take it with your hand and just gently go around. And you have the black frosting here if you want to write anything on top. Oh, perfect. Write mm-hmm. your name if you want to claim the cake for yourself. I'm trying here, but... That's me for short. I like that. There you go. Look at that. I'm gonna do mine. Knock out. K.O. Oh, this is so sweet. I love this. Are you sprinkling, Karina? This looks like, sprinkle. It looks like a princess cake. Aww. Aww. Oh, you, you use the pearls. I don't know yeah, if you can see it on the screen. Oh, that's cute. Some of the sprinkles are falling off. Oh, I want to start. Oh. And these are all edible stuff, right, Regine? All edible. Oh, wow. All edible. So, pearl. so when the cake is finished, I usually transport it to its packaging. Mm-hmm. I'll put it on a sheet, oh. okay. and it would look something like that. Okay, yeah. Oh, Fantastic. Nice. nice. It comes with a fork. If you want to sit down and eat it by yourself, or if you're doing a birthday celebration, we'll include a candle. Okay. Just pop that in. Okay. Sing away. Okay. Well, Regine, this has been fun. So could you remind the folks, just before we go again, how they can get in contact with you? You can reach us at 763-2837. We're on Facebook, Instagram as well. You can just pop up a message and we'll reply to you. Bye.